Hello, I'm Cécile Trombley. I'm an infectious disease specialist at the Centre Hospitalier de l'Université de Montréal. I'm a researcher and I will be leading the Hypergay clinical trial, which is a clinical trial on the use of medication to prevent HIV acquisition. We know that even though people try to have the safest sexual practice, HIV is still a danger in terms of uh, transmission. And uh, we need other methods that are going to add to the methods we already know to prevent HIV transmission. There has been several studies that have shown that taking a pill to prevent HIV acquisition can work. However, the way these studies were done, they didn't show that it would work all the time or in any all situation. So we need to define better what is the best way to use this strategy um, so that HIV negative individuals will be protected as much as possible. So this study uh, evaluates whether taking a pill, a, a medication that is usually used to treat HIV infection, Truvada, so if people take this pill before, during and after sexual relations, if this is going to be enough to be protective at the same time as they use other prevention methods such as the use of condoms. Um, we will compare this, taking this pill, to a placebo to see whether there is a real effect of, uh, on, on prevention of transmission. Uh, the, the, the interesting part about this study is that people who are going to be enrolled in the study, both in the arm that will take the Truvada and the placebo arm, will also receive a lot of help in terms of counseling, in terms of condom, and um, whatever uh, help they need and to uh, help them with uh, uh, having uh, lifestyle changes that will help them prevent HIV acquisition. HIV infection has been around for more than 25 years now. And although we've made a lot of progress in terms of the treatment, in terms of the identifying people who are infected to help them get get therapy, we still have year after year the same number of people who get infected with HIV. So whatever we're doing is not good enough. We need to do something different. But when we say that doing something different doesn't necessarily mean take just any intervention and say, oh yes, this pill, we, we're going to give the pill to everybody and then it's going to end our problem. We know that's not the case because, first of all, it would cost a fortune and maybe this money can be used in some better types of programs. Uh, and it could be that a lot of people don't need this type of prevention. So we need to identify who are the people who are likely to benefit the most from this type of intervention and what is the best way to administer it so that we can make it as efficient as possible. So that's why we need this study r right now at this moment with the hope that it's going to add to our other methods. We don't believe that this is going to be the final answer. We know that other studies have shown that if everybody knows their status and get treated for uh, when they are HIV positive with the antiretrovirals, their risk of transmitting the virus is extremely low, almost inexistent. So a program, a public health program that would include all of these different strategies, tr making sure that people who are infected know their status, have access to treatment, and uh, get their viral load undetectable and decrease the risk of transmission is a key element of a program. Making sure that people know safe sex and use condoms and uh, uh, get the help they need to have a safer sexual life, that's an important part of the program. And pre-exposure prophylaxis with a medication, like the one we're studying in the trial, is another part of the program. But it's not a one, one uh, answer for everything. The reason we need a placebo for this trial is because a lot of 
different parameters could affect the risk of transmission. The way people use condoms or don't use condoms. The, the type of sexual relations people have that may put them at higher risk of acquiring HIV infection. So to be able to dissect really the efficacy of a pill in the middle of all of these other interventions, the only way to do it is to have a placebo arm so that you can compare this specific intervention in the midst of other intervention. If you don't do that, you will not know whether the pill in itself has any use at all. It could be just the other measures that are being affected. So that's the, why it is very important to use a placebo arm. Um, there have been studies of pre-exposure prophylaxis, as we call it, uh, and they've all used placebo control arm. And in these studies, um, none of them showed a perfect um, advantage. So the arm that received the uh, medication did not protect entirely against HIV acquisition. So we cannot say that we have a proof 100% that taking the pill is going to protect everybody all the time. So this is why we need to have other studies that still compare to placebo to make sure that other ways of administering it, uh, such as the way that we're proposing just on demand, um, is, we'll, we will have the real proof that it is uh, efficacious. The first trials that were done to study the use of a medication to prevent HIV acquisition, they gave the medication on a continuous basis, so every day people had to take their medication. And what happened was that overall they showed the benefit of taking the medication, but only in a very partial proportion of the people were enrolled in the study. And one of the reasons why, why was because um, a lot of people couldn't um, uh, get themselves to take the pill every day. So it was too much for them. So there was a question of adherence. And when they studied um, uh, in people who had taken the pill all the time continuously, they saw a much, much better efficacy. So what it tells us is that the degree of adherence is very important for this strategy to be efficient. So the purpose of our trial is to, is to try to come up with a, a, a strategy that would increase adherence to the, 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 the treatment. So that's why we're proposing that the people take the pills only when they're gonna need it, really around the time that they will have sexual intercourse. So that means that they can take pills before, like in the day preceding the planned act, during sexual intercourse and the day after. So if somebody doesn't have a lot of sexual relationship during a month, they won't have to take that many pills and they won't be exposed to medication for such a long period of time. If you have sex every day, then you will be taking it continuously and you will have the benefit of taking the pill, which is what we presume is going to happen. So the trial that we're doing is allowing to be more flexible and to propose a strategy that may appeal to most people. And then if people are really adherent to what we're suggesting, then we expect the efficacy to be better. Uh, from what we know of the people who've already started the trial is that they are really happy to participate in that kind of trial. First of all, they feel that they're contributing to advancement of science and knowledge and eventually that may lead to some really helpful tools to prevent HIV transmission and that's quite gratifying to know that you're helping. People will have the chance to meet uh, counselors, uh, to meet uh, people like them and to exchange and maybe to eventually um, progress in their understanding of what is a safe sex behavior and eventually um, uh, get a, a more of a, um, a perspective of what's happening in the community. So they, the participants so far have been really happy to get this type of uh, support 
And I think this is another good thing that can come out of the trial. Hypergé was an original idea from the French researchers from INRS. Professor Jean-Michel Molina is the lead uh, PI in this study. And he thought of it after looking at the results from the other studies uh, regarding pre-exposure prophylaxis uh, in HIV, which were not satisfactory. So he came up with the idea of suge suggesting another a strategy on how we could use pre-exposure prophylaxis. He then asked us in Quebec if we were interested in participating in the study, which we, of course, were enthusiastic in participating in that kind of a study because we felt there was a need for that and that it would definitely help to uh, inform the best use of, uh, of drugs in, in the context of prevention. And subsequently, we were able to have the entire support of the Canadian HIV Trials Network, which has, who has helped us um, uh, develop the study and make sure that we get supported in every way to, to, to that the study be sustainable so that we can achieve results that eventually will influence public decisions.